Assalamu alaikum. This is lesson three of my Smashing the Idols series in Ramadan, the month of fighting. Today, we're going to speak about a song that has a lot of uh, pain involved for me. Even though a Muslim should not be sad and never give up. However, this song, Nothing Compares to You, was sung by the late Sinead O'Connor. May Allah have mercy on her soul. She died as a Muslim. Her brief history is that she was Irish and she was a product of a broken home with a mother who was mentally ill. And she left school and was put to go to the uh, reformatory where they used to put those girls who wouldn't obey. And she was told by one of the nuns there that she had a beautiful voice. And she, upon leaving the reformatory after a few years, went on to become a famous singer and well-loved and well-known, basically in Ireland, until she had this one hit. This hit was so gigantic that she was invited upon the, she was invited to perform on Saturday Night Live, which was the major show on Saturday night from 11.30 to 1, that we all were, you can say glued to the television, let's call it, I think it was in the 70s, 70s, yes. And at that time, there was the scandal involving the Catholic Church with the child abuse. So when she sang her song, and when she finished singing, she held up a picture of the Pope and tore it to pieces, threw it on the ground and said, fight the real enemy. Immediately thereafter, she was barred from performing in America ever again. And she did say, it's okay, I still have Ireland. Moving ahead in the future, her long-standing drug problem was a challenge for her. And she adopted many types of religious, you can say, observances from Buddhism, Hinduism. She even tried to become a Catholic priest when finally she settled upon Islam. And she went on to perform her music in her full covering and became again another, you can say, another career as a practicing Muslim and singing. Of course, this was because she never was told that singing was not the proper profession for a Muslim. And unfortunately, although she announced her Islam at an Islamic center, no one came forward to help her or teach her properly. The upshot of this is, I had planned to visit her, having been to visit Ireland before, loving it, and Allah tells us to go to our tribe and help them. I literally had plans with two of my American friends to visit her. Unfortunately, or let us say by Allah's will and destiny, she died. We don't know why she died. No one will have evidence other than they speculate that she died of a broken heart because her son committed suicide. And he had been in many different institutions. He was addicted to drugs and he had severe problems and he died. He was only 17. Well, that made me stricken in my heart because my son had also died. Although he was 33, I felt this mother's pain and I wanted to help her. As far as when he died, and when she died, and when my son died, that's not the issue here. It was all in close proximity. The issue is that I did visit her grave, and I stood there, and I asked Allah to forgive her, and I asked Allah to let us meet together in the paradise, because she was a beautiful soul, and she sang a beautiful song that at the time, none of us could get it out of our heads because all of us, or let's say my generation, face the heartache of losing whomever, fill in the blanks, 
without going into details, I totally could understand and relate to this song. Nothing compares to you. So now it's time. I will read you the lyrics, of course, without music, because music is not especially what we should be doing in Ramadan. So here we are. May she rest in peace. Nothing compares to you, sung by Sinead O'Connor. It's been seven hours and 15 days since you took your love away. I go out every night and sleep all day since you took your love away. Since you've been gone, I can do whatever I want. I can see whomever I choose. I can eat my dinner in a fancy restaurant. But nothing, I said nothing compares to you. Nothing can take away these blues. It's been so lonely without you here, like a bird without a song. Nothing can stop these lonely tears from falling. Tell me, baby, where did I go wrong? I could put my arms around every boy I see, but they'd only remind me of you. I went to the doctor, and guess what he told me? Guess what he told me? He said, girl, you better have fun, no matter what you do. But he's a fool, because nothing compares. Nothing compares to you. All the flowers that you planted, Mama, in the backyard, all died when you went away. I know that living without you, baby, was sometimes hard, but I'm willing to give it another try. Nothing compares to you. And it's repeated six times at the end of the lyrics. Nothing compares to you. Well, if my previous lesson was in regards to self-worship, which is basically the creed of atheism, the satanic creed of atheism. This song is more gentle, but it has the ultimate upshot of feeling that a person is the be-all and end-all of your existence. Who is the you here? Allah tells us in the Quran, nothing compares to him. Laisa kamitlihi she. So how many suffering, forlorn, love-lost victims have been drinking their sorrows away, especially in country music? If Oh, I could, I could really do a series on country music, although it wasn't one of my favorite genres of music. However, let's face the facts. When you're sad and lonely, the music can really take hold of your heart. And the music will always lead you further into despair with memories and regrets. And that terrible word that Prophet Muhammad hated, the word if, if only I had done something better, if only I would be given another chance. The if word is also something detested in Islam. There is no if because everything is decreed. However, the music, the music, the more we go along in this series, you're going to say, give me an ax. I want to crash some idols too, because this generation is suffering. Let's try and help them out. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.